Nagoya is the fourth largest city in Japan and sits in the charming Aichi region of the country. It is best known perhaps for being the center of the automotive industry in Japan and you will find all the big name factories here such as Toyota, Honda, and Mitsubishi. As well as a pre-election for futuristic inventions and robotics, Nagoya also has a strong history and is said to be the home of both samurai and ninja culture, so whatever part of history you are interested in, you are sure to find something of note here. Today we share the top 10 best things to do in Nagoya so you can plan a trip and experience all the exciting attractions and activities this beautiful city has to offer. Starting with number 10, Nagoya TV Tower. Nagoya TV Tower is one of the main landmarks in Nagoya and soars to a height of some 180 meters. The tower also has the claim to fame of being the oldest of its kind in Japan, and it was built before the more famous Tokyo Tower in the country's capital city. You can visit the observation deck here which sits at a height of 100 meters and from there look out over Nagoya and the neighboring Isayodori Park. At number 9 is the Nagoya Castle. Nagoya Castle would have been built in the 17th century during the time of Tokugawa Ayasu although like many buildings in Japan it was raised to the ground in World War II. The latest version that stands today was rebuilt in 1959 and you can check out some of the famous features here such as the Shachihoko which is a creature said to have the head of a tiger and the body of a fish. There are also collections of costumes and weaponry on display that tell the story of Japan in the days of old. Also make sure not to miss Nainamaruen which is the garden that surrounds the castle and is known for its idyllic tea houses where you can stop for a refreshing drink. At number 8, Nagoya City Science Museum. Nagoya City Science Museum is widely said to be one of the best museums in the country. The museum features a large planetarium which is the biggest in the world and you can come here to find out all about the workings of the solar system. There are also a range of quirky attraction here that science fans will love such as a tornado laboratory and a freezing laboratory. There are also a clutch of live shows here that feature science experiments that younger visitors are sure to love. At number 7. Taganji Temple Taganji Temple would have been built in the 16th century and is known for having a large sculpture of the seated Buddha in the center. This is a temple dedicated to the Hindu faith and was built to honor the goddess Sarasvati who also has her own festival which is held in Nagoya in May. One of the signature features of the temple that you shouldn't miss is the large wood block here which is said to cleanse you of your sins if you touch it. At number 6 in our list, Noritake Garden. Noritake Garden dates from 1904 and made up of the grounds of one of the most famous ceramics makers in Japan. As you stroll through the garden you can check out a range of period relics such as old-fashioned kills, and there's also a gallery here where you can learn more about the history of ceramics production here. If you want to get hands-on then you can also make and glaze your own piece here as there is also a craft center and museum as well as a shop where you can buy some of your own ceramics items as souvenirs. At number 5, OSU Cannon Temple. The OSU Cannon Temple was built in the 12th century during the Kamakura period but was then relocated to its present location in the 17th century under the rule of Tokugawa Ieyasu. It was then rebuilt in the 1970s and you can come here to buy a range of local charms which are known as Omomori and which are said to bring good luck if you carry them on your person. There is also a flea market held here twice a month in front FO the temple which is also well worth a look. At number 4, Nagoya Sky Promenade. The Sky Promenade is located in Midland Square and has the claim to fame of having the tallest observation deck in Japan. 
The deck is located outside on the 44th to 46th floors of Midland Square and you can come here to take in panoramic views across Nagoya. There are also some amazing Skyview restaurants here and you have to walk through winding passages to get to them which is all part of the experience. At number 3 in our list, Nagoya Public Aquarium. One of the signature tourist attractions in Nagoya is the Port of Nagoya Public Aquarium and as such it is one of the most visited attractions in the area. Here you will find a huge number of tanks filled with colorful marine life and there is also an amazing icebreaker ship here which you can explore and contains its own museum. There are also some dolphin shows held here, so if you do not support dolphins being kept in captivity then you may want to give this a miss. At number 2, Higashiyama Zoo and Botanical Gardens. Higashiyama Zoo houses a range of animals although you should note that many of the enclosures are quite small and for this reason you may choose to give it a miss. A better choice however are the botanical gardens which are located next to the zoo and you can walk around and take in the lush foliage and serene atmosphere. If you are traveling with children or just looking for a slice of greenery in the city then this is a good place to come and stretch your legs. Check out the number one places in our list, Toyota Exhibition Hall. Nagoya is known for being the central hub for Toyota production in Nagoya, and with that in mind you can come to the Toyota Exhibition Hall and find some 20 different vehicles which have just been made at the Toyota factory. There is also a tour offered here which lasts for two hours and will fill you in on the background of the rise of Toyota as a global brand and show you how Toyota products are made. One of the highlights of the exhibition hall is the chance to check out some of the most cutting-edge products that Toyota are currently working on, so if you like engineering and robotics then it is not to be missed. Now it's time to hear from you what's your favorite things to do in Nagoya. Is there something we missed let us know in the comments section below and don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to Greenable if you haven't already clicked the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.